Fellow travelers, your traveling buddy here, coming to you today from a little town outside of Lansing, Michigan, a little town called Bath. I was sitting at home trying to figure out my uh, Memorial Day vlog that I want to do, and I heard a news report about another school shooting. You know, I don't understand all these shootings and stuff going on, and it just made me think about disaster that happened in this little town called Bath. It's called the uh, Bath School Disaster, or better known as the Bath School Massacre. See, this guy named Andrew Kehoe was the school treasurer. And they wanted to raise taxes and all that for the school and he was not happy with that he became the town clerk and he tried to fight all these taxes and all that and you know and they had another election and he lost that election so that ticked him off so he set out and started collecting dynamite Start planting dynamite in, within the school basement. Then, on May 18th, 1927, his wife uh, was in the hospital. I guess had tuberculosis. They think that's what they say. And she was released from the hospital. And right after that. He killed her and then blew up his house and while his house was on fire he uh, headed toward the school. Well, the fire department was heading to his house where his house and barn and his two horses and then he stopped him and he said, gentlemen, you are my friends. I said, you need to get to the school. Then this madman, he drove up to the school with a load of dynamite in the back of his truck. And at the same time, he said he had a timer of the explosion on the north side of the uh, school that went off and killed at least 58 children. And then he pulled up in the school, called out the superintendent, and as the superintendent came up the school, uh, the vehicle, he aimed a gun, uh, a rifle, at the dynamite, and it exploded it and blew up the other part of that and killed a lot of extra other people around there, and even the ch child that they pulled out of the rumble that survived. Well, then as I was trying to do the recovery, he, uh, the, there was a, some of the, like 500 pounds of dynamite that did not explode. They said if it, it would have exploded, it would have blew up the whole school. And a lot more children would have died. And here's one of the markers. This is the Memorial James Colson Agricultural School. This is a consultant school where all these children went. And they said he was the school board treasurer. And they said they, uh, as he, one thing to tick them off was when they, uh, he lost his election, he started, he stopped taking care of his farm. He had a farm right up near here. Well, they said they said they were going to foreclose on his land, and right here is where the school was. And you see there, 
right here in the center of the school uh this property this was the top of the school this was a steeple that's all that's left of the school they tore said they tore the rest of the school down many years later And here is a historical marker. It tells you all about the destruction of the bath school. So at least 58 people were killed and 45 children. This madman just killed just because he had he was mad because they wanted to tax him. And here is a rock with all the names of the people that died there. Just makes you wonder what goes through somebody's head to do something like that. You know, all over money. So right here is the steeple. They even have, I said, because this is the end of May. This was almost Memorial Day. Well, the 18th was more than too long ago and they had a memorial. They have a memorial wreath up here about the school. We have a little marker here. A memorial to the, is dedicated to those who lost their lives as a result of the bath school disaster on May 18, 1927. Our town of Bath will always remember you. They even have bricks here with all the names the children that died here so this is a big known park here now and as you can hear in the background it said more day weekend somebody's having a little picnic there and you hear children playing which is cool that's kind of keeping the dream alive you know I mean well the children's memory alive. Hearing children playing around here. And you can even see there's even pieces of the foundations still all around this park. Hmm. That pops up out of the ground. They even have a little fair thing goes on every summer around here. Let's see where was it? I know they're around here somewhere. Here's here it is. Here's part of the foundation of the school. That was the foundation of the school that stood here. They even built their elementary school right across the road now. Said this is and this is the worst school disaster in American history. So I'm not putting down, I'm not saying anything against the these all these school shootings. It's, it, it's crazy. But yeah, this guy used dynamite, not guns. All over hate. It said to take it out on children just because the government wants to tax you. It's crazy. Like I said, I was watching, I was trying to plan my Memorial Day vlog and heard about the school shooting. It made me think of this. And here, picture of what the school actually looked like. I'll add an actual better picture to show you. And right up the road here is the cemetery where most of the children are buried. And here we are at the Pleasant Hill Cemetery here in Bath. A lot of these children are buried. Let's see if we can find some of the graves.
Hello travelers, I pretty much found a lot of the graves here in Pleasant View Cemetery. You know, they just had a memorial here, so it was helpful. They had flowers actually on the plant, the grave sites and all that. Now there is another cemetery not too far from here where some of the other children I believe are buried. I'm going to try and get out there. It's called, I think it's called Roseview. It's, it's just sad that one man did this disaster. I like this here. I actually got this little statue of a little girl next to this grave. That's one of the disaster children. That's that's beautiful. I'm out here now in Rose Cemetery out here in Bath, Michigan. Supposedly some other victims are buried out here. And as I'm walking through here, you know, just, just can't imagine what these parents have went through. Their children blowing up by some psycho. So I'm trying to find some of the graves. Some of them are kind of worn. Some tombstones broken off. But yeah, I just can't imagine what these people went through. Sad. These poor children just wanted an education. And this psycho comes along and takes them out. All over taxes. Okay, travelers, here we are at the Andrew Keyholes farm which is now just still farmland they don't have a house there no more or, or of course he blew it up but and yeah, this is where he lived it's where he murdered his wife early morning of May 1927 He bashed her head in and then stuffed her in a the wheelbarrow, stuck her out back, then exploded to some dynamite. Right here is where his driveway was. Somewhere up in there, maybe the foundation. I'm not going out there because it's uh, somebody's property now. <clears throat> right here on Clark Road. You're in Bath. So she was the first victim of all this. And then he drove all the way up this road, passing the fires, firefighters as they were coming, and told them, he said, you better get to the school. It's like he was almost like he was warning them. You know. Yep. This guy, he even had two horses that he, that died in that fire. He, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Well, travelers, that's about all the footage I can get for you from the bath disaster. You know, as I finish this up, I have one thing to say, you know. Live life sh uh, like it's short. Because you never know. And you make sure you tell your children every day that they leave for school that you love them. Because you never know. 
this world is getting so crazy with all these school shootings and everything. You know, you never should never know when you know, they could just leave and you, you never see them again. So make sure you tell your children to love them. I have a son. I mean, he's going on 20 years old now, but I couldn't imagine what would have been like if something like that would have happened to me. You know, it's just crazy. This world is getting nuts. We need to start getting along and stopping all the violence. All right, till next time, travelers. I'll see you around the mitten.